Hi. Come up. How about I didn't even know you were coming by? You know, I couldn't let this moment pass without Aww. a little time with your pastor. Hi. Hi. You How look are so you? pretty. Wait, did you get new glasses? Well, I had my glasses, but I didn't have time to put contacts in today. Oh. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm just a little nervous. Of course. I just, if I think about it, I get really scared. Of course. That's and why I, I get scared by. because I just have a lot of people that depend on me. You and also I think have for, a lot of people praying for you. Mm, I'm just, I'm freaked out. I kind of think like, what if I didn't wake up? You know how freaked out I get about that. So I just think, is this stupid to do this because so many people depend on me? Like, is it irresponsible? You know, like I'm getting put to sleep and it's elective. So I wanted to pray with you though about the nervousness because you don't go in surgery alone. And I love that the scripture says about God that he's the great physician. So your surgeon will be there and you'll be there, but somebody else is there too. God, I'm asking that you'll calm her fear, let her feel your presence, be that great physician during surgery, keep your hand on the surgeon's hand and everybody who provides Chris care in the days to come, we do trust you. You are the calmer of our fears the quieter of our storms and our life is in your hands and we love that it's a good place to be in jesus name amen amen thank you i love you i love you too yeah, you look so pretty i mean thank looking you. at you it's like why would you change a thing Aww. but i know well, you if you know. saw me without clothes on <laughs> you're my pastor so that's la, not la, gonna la, happen <laughs> There's an image. Oh my God. <laughs> that I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about. <laughs> it's a gravity thing. All right, so this is all like Bruce Jenner stuff. This is a Bruce box. Hold on. That's a Bruce thing. This goes I, to Bruce. It's his here. accordion or something. These, I think, are all his training shoes. Going through all these photos. Oh my God. And looking at all this memorabilia. Oh, it's Olympic stuff. Oh. All these things that we have. Look at my baby's ice skates. They're so cute. Definitely bring up a lot of emotion. And I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's going to happen. All I can do is be there for my kids, and we just have to stick together as a family. Dear Chris Jenner, I was recently watching your show and saw you had a segment on spicing up your marriage. Well, this one doesn't pay attention because I'm divorced. Oh, I have included our newest line of seamless, waterproof, medical-grade silicone vibrators. They're somewhere in the storage unit. I want the vibrators. I just hit the vibrator jackpot. to be a mind if this turns out. <laughs> this is a fun line. <laughs> Shut up. We're playing a joke on Chloe is what we're doing. She sent a mime over to my house and he handcuffed himself to me. I had to go to the bathroom, With chained him? to a guy. <laughs> yeah. That's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm serious. It's just so I thought, so how can I get away? She traumatized you. Now she did. You're gonna oh, her. this one is not getting away with these practical jokes anymore. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have like handcuffs for her? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. This is like a tear. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> how do I get it off? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, get into character now. Oh, what's my mind name? Google? Yes! Is this okay? Perfect. <laughs> Just Chloe here. Mm -hmm. Chloe's gonna die, she has no clue. <laughs> is this the mound? No. The mound is there, that would be the pitcher's but mound. But this is where you hit, right? No. You hit over there. Oh, this is first base. That's first base. That's where the pitcher's mound is. I'm not wearing a bra, so I can't first run all, that fast. This is the pitcher's mound. Oh. All right, okay. get on the mound. I'm getting out of here. 
I got this, I got this. All right, here you go. Strike one. <laughs> Mom, go Sorry, closer. Yeah. Go closer, Mom, just for practice. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> if it's not in this zone, it's called a ball. Like you don't get a, a penalty okay. for that. That would have been a ball, it's too low. Oh, Jesus. The first softball practice is terrifying. Oh, run, run, run! Mom has to get it! She's over here, you moron! <laughs> oh my god, I just peed myself! It's like just chickens with their head cut off running around this field. It's not good. All right, you ready? Oh. <laughs> Mom, are you kidding? Oh my god, are you okay? No. Oh my god, did you hurt your wrist? I did. Oh my god. <laughs> How did you fall? Mom, please don't break your wrist. Oh. This is definitely very underwhelming. There is not a lot of skill here. So are you aiming for Mom's head? No. <laughs> Are we really gonna be able to pull this wedding off? This is my thing. Give me a chance. I've waited my whole life to give a wedding. At first, I was petrified at the thought of throwing a wedding in nine days. But I've waited 25 years to throw this wedding, and I'm gonna make sure it's perfect. I just wanna know who's gonna walk you down the aisle. I don't know, like Rob. He's a Kardashian, he's my brother. He looks like my dad, like he's just like. Chloe, it would kill Bruce if he didn't walk you down the aisle. We're planning a wedding, and he doesn't even know about it. I mean, okay, that's well, nuts. guess what? As soon as I get my ring, I will tell Bruce. So in the meantime, keep your mouth shut and don't tell him. Chloe keeps telling me that she wants to wait till she gets the ring to tell Bruce that she's gonna get married, but we all know that Chloe is scared to death to tell Bruce because any father would have a problem with their daughter getting married in nine days, but she's got to tell him. Chloe, I'm going to do the best I can to keep my mouth shut, but I promise you that if Bruce finds out, this is going to blow up in our face. And I just, I don't want him to feel left out. And I don't want that it to That wouldn't be nice either. Mm. You know, it would really hurt his feelings. And I think he just, like one guy can only take so much. Rob is my blood and Rob, when I look at him, he reminds me of my dad and is my brother, and I want Rob to be a part of my wedding as well. And so, you know, I would love if Rob would walk me down the aisle. Let's go to the hat shop real quick. Woo! Oh, is this it? Oh, oh. Woo! Hello, hi. How long have you guys been here? Since 1968. 1968? <laughs> yep. I'm still older than you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We used to buy hats in here uh, years ago there, that yeah. were like the an furry animals. Well, we've got Remember? the straw hats and yeah. some of the yeah. hats, but we're more for our Stetsons yeah. and our... Yeah, hats. no, they're so good. But look at this saddle. Kendall would love that. I was just going to say she would love that. Yeah. Look at this Stetson. That's pretty. It's like a Panama. Oh, this, that's oh. great. You have a hat like that. Yeah. We got it in, I think we got it in London or Paris. It's really cute yeah. on you. This is the greatest hat store. Oh my God, look, they have a hat a, a armor. Do you sell that armor thing? We do. Yeah? And they do buy them for special occasions or special festivals. Just in case we want to dress up yeah. like a... You never know. Like a, you oh, need a suit of... Oh. oh. You know what? Oh. I used to have this hat. Shelly, remember Shelly gave me that? Yes. Didn't she? I think so. Oh, here's my hat. <laughs> of course. <laughs> finally. <laughs> I feel... I have to Finally. Go. I have to get that for you. Oh da, da, my da, god. Da, da, that da, is da, da, da. so funny. That's yeah. this is me. That's uh, funny. That's really funny. Okay. <laughs> All right guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Super well, nice. Well, nice. Thank you, you too. Ooh. That was <sighs> great. <laughs> You're a cutie. You're such Hi, a cutie. Hi baby. I'm not
good because you keep taking Kendall's side and allowing her to, like to move out. And yeah, she's 18 well, of course, years old. Yeah. She's a very mature girl. I can't believe Chris is upset that I'm encouraging Kendall to move out of the house when she's only 18 years old. I was 18 years old. I moved out of the house. I never came back. You know, kids do this. She's a lot more mature than Kim was when she moved out at 18, and you didn't have problems with that. And honestly, I think it would be good for her to move out. Wait, I mean, wait, look, wait, wait, wait. What's out. going on? I mean, look what's going on at our house. Kanye there, and all these people. It would be perfect for her to have her own place. Get her out. Get the responsibility that goes along with it. You know? Can we do it again? Did you hear anything I was saying? No. All basketball. Bye. Oh, so cute. Thank you. Wow. Well, this is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. yeah, you start, once you start, that'll be good. It's a little suspicious that Bruce wants her to move to Malibu so she can be closer to him. Bruce! And I'm not gonna take it anymore. How about we have a little challenge? If I yeah. win, no, if I win, you gotta back off, Kendall. No. Come on. No. Yes. I'm not gonna back off on that. Something else. Mom? Hi, Rob. Are those Tom Ford glasses? Do you like them? It's my new look for 2012. What do you think? I think they look cool. Yeah? I sent Mark 50 pairs of my sock designs. Then I told him, like, specifically to tell the designer what I wanted. This, I think, is awesome. This the is awesome because it's like your personality. Yeah. I think it's going to be amazing. We need to brainstorm some names. The Sock Doctor. No. Uh, sock it to me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Socks Appeal. Oh, my God, I love myself. Socks, Socks Appeal. That is so good. <laughs> All right, let's so go watch what? this. I think that as our parents get older, you want to know more about what your mom or your dad might have gone through when they were the same age that you are. I'm really excited for my kids to see my legacy video because they'll have that forever. And who knows, maybe they learned a thing or two about their mom that they didn't know before. My psoriasis oh my God. is getting a bit better. Oh my God, good. Oh my God. Wait, turn it Stop. up. Stop, you did interviews? Of course. The most dramatic thing that my kids don't know about me is I had a bone tumor in my left leg. You did? In my leg. I knew leg that. Shed. I did not know that. They were gonna do a test on it while they had my leg open and if it came back positive for any cancer, they would have to amputate my leg. That's and I horrible. think that's something that really affected my mom and I. And then in the spring of 1973, I was 17 years old. I actually had a boyfriend. Of course you did. Who was always out of town. His name was Caesar. So okay. while he was living on the road, I met Robert Kardashian. Ooh, hussy. And Robert came over one day when Caesar was out of town. What? Mom! Were you hooking up with him? Yeah. Oh my God, you're such a whore. Now we know where we get it from. And then we went back to Caesar's house, and lo and behold, Caesar came home to surprise me. And so what happened? Well, it wasn't pretty. Did they get into a fist fight? Not proud of it. Actually, Caesar tried to grab his sweater. I think he ripped a hole in Robert's sweater. <gasps> I didn't want to ever hurt anybody's feelings. I just wanted some dick while Caesar was out of town. <laughs> Oh my God, I cannot believe Scott made this legacy video. I think it's so sweet and so sweet. So much, I think we think we know about mom, but we really don't. This is my mom's time to shine. I think all she ever wants is to feel like all the attention's on her and that like we really are listening and care about her as her children. So it's cute to see her that excited. Yeah, she was really excited. Hello, welcome to my mommy vlog. Today we're talking about co-sleeping. When co-sleeping, I took off every pillow off my bed. I slept with no pillows, I slept with no sheets, I slept with no blankets on my bed at all. 
um, because children can suffocate if there's anything like that on your bed. Um, I got a co-sleeper this time. This is called the Arms Reach Co-Sleeper, which pulls up right next to your bed and actually there's um, buckles that strap so that it's secure to the mattress so it can't move and one side of this fully comes down so that your the bed and the co-sleeper are fully together as one and then the baby has its own space um, so that the baby is safe in its own little space but yet it's easier for the mom to nurse maybe in the middle of the night. Last time with Mason I had this snuggle nest uh, mine was a little bit different than this. I just took this out of the box, but um, so you put the baby in here so that there's walls and you know something around the baby so that the baby does have their own space. It has a little um, device on the top of it that has a little night light. It makes um, sleeping sounds um, like womb sounds and heartbeat sounds and it has a little lullaby music. Um, so this is the one I used last time, the shape was a little different, but I really did like this one. Once I would say they're big enough to roll over and get up, then we started introducing pillows and sheets back on our bed. And it's like I wake up very easily with any little movement. I think if a parent drinks alcohol, takes sleeping pills, um, is a really heavy sleeper, maybe is a violent sleeper, I would say all of those things would probably not make the best ideal situation for co-sleeping. I really loved the experience and I'm excited to do it again. Happy sleeping, toodles. Yay! It's open! It's me doing a drive-by. Hi, what is going on? I have the bananas, you only got two left? You can have both if you'd like. One is good enough. No, the reason I stopped by, yeah. They want me to do this Jimmy Fallon show. Yeah. She's made so many jokes about my face. It's just, I'm like, so tired of it. Yeah. No. But anyway, um, I don't like want to give him the pleasure of having me on his show. Honestly? And to be honest, what the hell do I need him for? Bruce Fallon wasn't the first person to make fun of you, and he's not going to be the last. Absolutely not. That's true. Really, like, it's just a part of their job, I guess. Yeah. If you don't go on the show, it's gonna make you look like you can't even face him. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I was thinking if I did do it, you gotta go on with a good sense of humor of and have fun with it with him, you know? Of course. Yeah. Or like, I mean, if I didn't do things based on the things people said about me, when everyone's like, she has butt implants, like, I did a butt x-ray. It's funny. You have to have a good sense of humor. Uh, that's true. Cappy called me last night looking for Rob, and so did the twins. And I said, oh, I, he hasn't been around. I haven't seen him. We can't, like, act like what he's doing isn't wrong. If this was any man that we were with, we would be pissed. How dare? I don't even know what he's doing. He hasn't spoken to her in days. How Why? dare you leave a pregnant? I don't give a You still need to check on her. Would you be? happy with Kanye if he disappeared for five days and never reached out to you? No, I'd die. Right. So I don't care if it's our brother, facts or facts. It's crazy how he's acting. That's totally. so up. Rob is going to be a dad and he has a family to answer to. So I feel like now more than ever, Rob can't handle things the way he once did. He has to deal with his problems. He can't just run away and ignore them. So excited for dinner tonight, just so we could all finally hang out. With this crazy NBA schedule, Kim is finally experiencing how little time Lamar and I get to spend together. Bubbles. I should have a little champagne. I think just you have you. Oh, just no, oh. just to toast. Yes, please. <laughs> Give her a this glass. Girl's coming to town. Let's toast to Dallas. 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 Dally. How are you adjusting to Dallas? You know, it was comfortable. I mean, somebody just tell you one day to pick up and go, man. You're uncomfortable. Being an athlete, I've always um, prided myself on choosing when that change is gonna happen. When somebody take that away from you, it's like, 
Really? That's the place you don't really want to be. But it's always when you like step outside of your comfort zone is when you grow in life. You've gotten into this groove for seven years with the Lakers. I don't know Even much about basketball, but you're probably psyching yourself out. You know what I mean? I think that you could overcome this. If I'm going through something, I've always been able to go to basketball and use it to vent. To not be able to use it to vent, it take you to a place where you question like if you really want to go through it. Being a sportsman, half of what we do is mental. And uh, I think I let myself get a little depressed. So I got to get my mind to that point where I'm like, I love being here. Go out and play hard. Good things are happening. Hey, can I tell you something that Kim said to me? What? She said, did I get a little bit jealous that Courtney was pregnant again? It's a normal emotion. I wasn't jealous. No one said that. You said it's a normal emotion. I wasn't to jealous. Be, no one said that you were. It's a normal emotion to get a little like. Yeah. Were you like that when you it. found out she was? Yeah. I was like, you were? Yeah. I mean. Hearing Lamar's feelings about Courtney's pregnancy, I feel bad. It's just so frustrating. Just wanted to have a nice time. I can't handle this right now. I was like, damn, I wish she could be me. But like, just for the split second, damn, you get to have another baby, I don't. Court? Court? Hmm. I don't know, what time is it? Why are you out My here? The alarm didn't go off. Where are you going? Are you OK? Where are you rushing off to? It's 9 o'clock at night. Where are you I going? I have to go to the gym. I totally missed my workout. Courtney, you can't. Honestly, Courtney, chill. Where do you think you need to lose more weight anyway? My stomach. Are you my nuts? My thighs. Oh, my butt. come here. Come here. Come on, little puppy. Come on. You're totally warped. Look. Where the hell do you need to lose more weight? No one understands the kind of pressure that I'm under to lose weight for this photo shoot. Not Chloe, not Scott, no one. How skinny do you want to get? Like, do you see yourself? I want my body to be like my Maxim shoot and like my 944 shoot. But Courtney, that was before you had a baby. Are you crazy? I have my own issues with my body and what I have to psych myself up every day to even stand around these sisters. And now I'm having maybe the skinniest sister, Courtney, looking in the mirror telling me, oh, I'm so fat, woe is me. Seriously, you're not going anywhere. You're going to bed. You All you do is keep yawning. You're just not. What, Chloe, I gotta, I gotta work no. out. You don't, and you're staying here. You're not go, oh! You're not going anywhere. Oh. Ow. No, stay. What, go I to gotta sleep. get Mason. I'll get Mason. You stay here. Go to sleep. Your sneakers are coming with me until your morning workout. Look, you're already, you're already falling asleep, you freak. What do you guys think, like, about Scott? It's just like, you want to be able to trust the person that you're with. You shouldn't have to supervise your boyfriend at all times. Hey, guys. Hey, Clo. What's going on? We're just having um, deep, dark combos. About what? Scott. Are you guys serious? <laughs> you guys, it's such a waste of all of our time to even have these conversations. And it's such a waste of your time. OK, I can't discuss anything with you because you're just so judgmental. I'm not judgmental, but no, when someone No, at least and Roya, when I tell them something, they don't like hold it. Because Lily and Roya are afraid of you. No, they're not. I'm not afraid of you. You don't pay me. They're not afraid yes, of me. Yes, they are. It's like a really okay, crazy addiction. You're also addiction. the exact opposite of me. I'm a lot stronger than you You're like a man guys. hater. No, I'm not. I just don't let people me over. And when you cheat on me, you're gone. And you're not going to do it again and again and again. I'm sorry. That's not normal. That's not respect. That's not what boyfriends do to their girlfriends. So I'm not going to let someone do that. I'm pr being protective and loving you. OK. I've seen you, this guy hurt you repeatedly. You come to me, and now I'm just supposed to act like none of that ever happened, and then I'm fine with I everything? I never said to act like nothing happened. You need happened. counseling. You need therapy. You don't it's like, need therapy. You need therapy. Hi, Chloe's Josh. telling me that I need therapy. You might. <laughs> for what? <laughs> she needs therapy for Scott. I definitely think Courtney needs therapy. I feel like there's no reason that she has to feel like anyone can treat her like this. You need help. You need somebody, an outsider looking in to tell you, so I feel like you take it more seriously. Because you're not going to listen to us, so 
it's yeah, kind I of really pointless. You need to talk to someone doctor that's doctor outside. To help you and give but you what is that going to do? I hate therapists. It's okay. You'll learn on your own when everybody leaves you alone and all you have is your misery and you have nobody else to complain to. Where did she go? Oh, well, she wound up going to Chloe's. Is she grounded? Not anymore. We had a talk. Scott should be grounded. You, you like should be grounded. You should be grounded. Oh, my God. You I showed should be me grounded. all the family jewels. Wait, Mom, what did you do? Mom, your wife walked I in on me naked. butt naked. You, you were, exposed honey, yourself you to my wife? I didn't expose on purpose. She walked into a full-blown show. Jewels? I saw the whole shebang. Oh, God. I just find it weird that you didn't just like throw on a pair of boxers before you what just like, ran downstairs. I want to let my thing cool down. I was letting it all happen. Hang out, boy. Is Kylie here? Mm mm. She just woke up. I just called her. What a little Pia. I know. Hi. Oh, well. I'm still back in LA after North's first birthday party, but I really want to get back to New York City to see Scott soon. Hello, how are you doing? Do you want another sex? This okay, time? so if you can tell, I don't want you to tell me, but could we write it down? And then we're, because Scott isn't here, Mason isn't here. Like, I thought I could do it with everyone. It might be a little early. Yeah. Well, let's just look at your tummy first. OK. Let's see how that is. So here's your baby. Ah! Here she looks great. Isn't that weird? Oh, my god. It's your new family member. So I'm going to have her draw these next two tests. OK. And then I'll meet you back in my office. Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, so Scott might be going to a rehab tomorrow. For what? Well, first of all, he's just like severely depressed. He just makes up whatever like pills he thinks he needs to take. And then if you drink with it, I don't think it's good and just yeah. stuff like that. Come in. Should we do the other arm? Yeah. Does he want to go? Yeah. That wasn't a confident, yeah. I think he's just scared. I know my sisters are worried and wondering what Scott is going to do, but I don't want to push him to go to rehab. I really want it to be his decision. I'm just telling you to keep an open mind. It would be kind of cool if you ever went on a date. I am, like, not a dating person. I did the dating thing before. Scott for, like, a minute, and it was so not for me. I just got out of a nine-year relationship. I think the last thing I probably need is anybody in my life. Do you see yourself with somebody else at some point one day? I don't know. I'm not, like... I mean, in your mind, do you think I can't wait to meet the one? Not really. Do you think the one is Scott? I don't know. He has to deal with this for his entire life of waking up and feeling like, whoa, this isn't my body. This doesn't feel comfortable. That's the only way I can kind of imagine it. And you really have to, like, let go. I have these memories of this life, and it, I feel sometimes like it didn't exist. So cool. Everyone clear the set, please. Are you ready to see Chloe? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Like, I love her. Come on in. Hi. Hi. How are you? It's so nice to meet, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, thank good. you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Why did you want to apply for Revenge Body? I met my husband in high school. Mm -hmm. He proposed when we were 19 and we got married at 20. I was a virgin. I come from a very conservative background, but I still never thought I would get married young. He was just the right guy. Yeah. Or so I thought. <laughs> I still think he's the right guy. He just doesn't think I'm the right girl anymore. We've been together for 12 years and married for eight and a half. And my husband always had this dream of coming to Hollywood and acting. So we moved across the country together and pursued his dreams. 
So you were his ride or die? I, oh my God, my entire life was about him. He had like some early success in like the online video world, YouTube and all this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I was like classic wifeager. I was in the background always like, you know, scoping out new opportunities and making those happen and like, he went from getting attention from me to getting attention from girls all over the country and like some from all over the world. So that's when my depression and serious weight gain set in. You are my, t seriously, you're like my twin soul. <laughs> I was yeah. very much the same. Like I wanted to be with Lamar and I would do anything. I've never missed one home basketball game. And that's just kind of who I was, but I took pride in that as it seems yeah. like you did as well. Absolutely. From his side of things, it's over. Mason, we're going back to New York City. Was my mom fine after you told her you made her hurt her feelings by throwing things in? I don't think so. Dude, I feel so bad. Like, relationships get so messed up, like in laws for people. Why? Years ago, we used to kind of like fight with one another's parents and drop. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I fought with yours for a while. But I'm saying, even when Kim and Chris were like getting married the other day, it was like, all the drama between their families colliding and meeting and talking and arguing. You know what I mean? It's not important because, like, what's important is the people that are involved in the relationship. I think mine and Scott's relationship is always a work in progress. As long as we want to be together and we know that, then it's worth working on. Back to the hotel. Keeping up con los Kardashians. Last night I told everyone a hundred times that I am so sleep deprived and that I really, 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 really need my sleep. We are leaving for the Hamptons. But I'm sad Kimmy's not coming. Should we say bye? Kimmy! Hi! She's so rude to like literally wake me up when I have an alarm set. Bye Kim! I have to stay up for an hour so please get out. Okay, we just came to say bye. We're going- my one day to sleep in. Um, she's purposely trying to like mess with me. <laughs> yeah. Chloe has like no respect for me. Keeping up con los Kardashians. Such a because we woke her up. What a b It's your beautiful sister. I'm in here and woke me the up. We've been working 18 hours a day. Don't think this is all about me. This is so stupid. We'll die. Kim sent an email that said, How dare you? You're such an evil. How dare you, Chloe? You crossed a major line with me. That is not okay. You troll. You're oh disgusting. Oh my god. What? Like, she feels these feelings about me and she's always felt them about me. This isn't something, she just holds them in. And she always says little digs or little things about me or tries to always belittle me or make me feel bad or... Yeah, you guys are always competitive. That does hurt my feelings when I hear Courtney say that because I don't believe that. I don't think that we are competitive. Kim is gorgeous and she's successful and she's this, but I'm definitely not jealous. I'm not trying to take anything away from my sisters. If anything, I'm their biggest protector. Death, 26 year old, death. Tell you part. I just think I'm an easy person for her to take it out on. Kim has not tried to reach out to me once, so I'm not gonna go and talk to her. Keeping up con los Kardashians. me and say hi, anything? Hi. There's definitely tension and I find it odd that Kim will not even acknowledge the very hurtful, hateful things she said to me. So are you, do you have to leave to catch your flight? It seems like a perfect timing, baby. Oh good, to get on out of here. It's perfect time for me to leave. Well, we're gonna miss you. Are you excited to go see Lamar? You, Mason, and Scott will miss me. I honestly am just so annoyed with Chloe, so I just would rather, like, avoid her. 
Bye, Squirt. Bye, Doll. Love you. Bye, Bye safe. That wasn't awkward. What do you mean to do? She's being awkward. You guys are both awkward. Whatever, I can't deal. Okay, the Kardashians might not be this over the top, but we're sure the new season will be epic. So we literally are the first people here. Let's have some fun, Ben. This place is gonna feel so empty. Hey. Oh, the Gene yeah. It Up J-Lo. Tupac. Hey. Hi, guys. Happy birthday. Thank you. Can I get a game in or? <laughs> yeah, get your game on. All right. Hey, Mom. Hi. 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 Look how cute you look. Thanks. I was going to give you a birthday present tomorrow. Well, you can do that. Can I get you Oh, you one. Should we put down a card for everyone's no. drinks? <laughs> Or just have everyone get their own drinks. I'll be cheap. And then we're paying for the food. Scott, can I have your credit card? For what? Everyone's drinks. We'll just tell the girl and we'll pay for it at the end with cash. This is one raging party, let me tell you. Courtney is like really upset that she had to like do all this and like what? span it herself. Yeah, because she doesn't know about tomorrow, so she thinks that none of us care about anything. And like even right now, she like came up to me. She's like, "What do we do? Do we have an open bar, or do we like who's gonna pay for all this?" And I was like, "I don't know." Cause yeah, we have our own thing planned, but she doesn't know that. Oh yeah. She planned this, and it's not that great. Oh, oh, by the way, relax. The other she's thing. Go to Tony's. What? By the way. Are you kidding? Like, Tony's is your favorite. She goes. Yeah, but no, but. Well, I have Should we already. switch, or is that not I don't, possible? If it's possible, we're going to have to. Tonight is my release party for the cover I did for Galore. It's really exciting because it's fashion week and all my sisters are here, which has never really happened before. To be out and doing something fun and have Courtney out on the town and then Kendall and Kylie, it's like, ah, oh, super excited. This is gonna be a crazy party. It's only 1144 right now, by the way. I feel like I just got here, and for Kylie to say that she wants to leave, Courtney is finally out. Let's keep this party train going. It's kind of frustrating when my older sister is always lecturing me. by saying that Courtney's doctor is the same doctor that delivered Courtney is delivering my first grandchild, which is one, this is like such a great day. Thank you. Is this a diaper? I have been looking forward to giving a baby shower for one of my children for as long as I can remember. And I just want Courtney to know that she's going to have the most amazing family without Scott. Okay, I'm going to try not to cry. Courtney, I love you so much. You're my firstborn. Thank you for doing this for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so excited about my baby shower. My mom, Kim and Chloe, did such an amazing job. Hi. Hi. So How good are to see you. you. Your hair is getting so long. Thanks. Seeing all my friends who are young mothers really enforces the fact that I want to be a career mom. Lots of young mothers work and raise their children, and I'm confident that I can do both, too, even if that means working in Miami. Oh, my God. Two onesies. This is exactly what Scott would like. I know that I shouldn't feel like this, but hearing Scott's name actually makes me cringe. Oh, oh my God. Time for you to get married now. I'm going to get married whenever the time is right. Are you okay? Yeah. 
What is he doing here? How are you? I gotta get a water. Seriously? What is Scott doing here? Oh, Kim gives good gifts. What is this? Oh, oh no way! A Snoopy snow cone machine. <laughs> like all we wanted to do was go to MJ's house, and my grandma worked, and my grandpa didn't. So my grandpa would sit home with us and make those with us all day long. All we wanted was a Snoopy snow cone. That is so cute. We should make it for the hot tub later. Yes. So the Northern Lights. What are our, what are our chances tonight? If it's cloudy, you're not going to see it. I feel like it's Helen Hunt and Twister it, the chasing those tornadoes. So it has to Didn't be they say it's as we're likely as likely to see a unicorn as we are? The yeah, Northern but here Lights. they believe in unicorns, so it's yeah. perfect. Thank you. Did you see the picture Scott listed of you by? Yes. I saw it. It was cute. I told him not to. <laughs> Why? Because I said you guys are making out that kind of like. Yeah. He has a, like, Suggestive. A weird impression. And I told him no like four times, but he was determined. Okay. Can I everyone? Yeah. Everyone, say hi to Chloe. <laughs> Two hours. All right, oh, love you. Hour. Two hour. Uh, so sense. I'll be back. Anyone a good caption? I'm going to go over here and hang for a bit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Courtney. On your vegan free, dairy free cake. <laughs> it really is. To you. How exciting. I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years old today, guys. Does anyone want gluten-free cherry-free cake? <laughs> you guys think that I should go bowling for my birthday? When are you doing this? On your birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it on do my it birthday, on. which is Thursday. You guys chat. Tell me when you figured it out. Great. What? <gasps> what? Is this really what you guys are doing? Have you called already? Yeah, she told me to call around for to okay, well, book a party for her Scott birthday. Scott is the one who told me to throw a dinner, a surprise dinner for Courtney on her birthday. When did you, why didn't anybody tell me? I'm try, I'm almost okay, put so, a deposit down for this place. We'll just say that they're booked that day and do it another day. She's gonna kill me. So just do it the night before or something. She wants to do something on the night of her birthday. Oh, hey, dude. Say the night before is open. Yeah. I wish somebody would have told me. Scott is such an idiot. But thank God, you like, I heard this conversation. friends that I went to school with, they probably all thought I hated them. But I just couldn't see it, you know? Because they would always post photos, and they were all at the prom, and I was like, can't see it. 
Yeah. It just made me sad.